Okay, so here's a few tricks, guys. Uh, this is what I do like to shortcut things because I do like to take shortcuts that work for me. And this one seems to. So instead of being psycho about getting this completely centered on the wheel and spending a lot of time when I have multiple mugs trying to center it this, you know, with the needle tool, honestly, when it doesn't have a foot, like I'm not putting a foot on this, um, this me method works. If you are putting a foot on it, it won't, it won't work. It'll probably come out even. Um, so I use this and I test each side <laughs> like this. So I'll put my needle tool there and then I'll put my finger like that <clears throat> where the needle tool was and then I'll check each side against it. That matches up perfectly. That matches up perfectly. Bam, that matches up perfectly. You know, I can pretty much tell it's centered because I've been doing this these uh, so much. I've been doing these a lot. So that little needle tool thing saves me a lot of time when I'm making a ton of pieces. So now I'm just gonna uh, <clears throat> attach this to, to the wheel head. And I'm pushing down on the wheel head, not in, because if I push in, it could alter this rim because the clay is still kind of soft. So I'm just kind of going down. All right, so. Because this is tall and like it's soft and delicate right now, I'm just gonna do this slowly and Honestly, I don't need to trim a lot. I'm just, I'm just like finishing it. I trimmed most of it while it was still on the wheel um, when I was making the piece. And I do things a little backwards. It's just what works for me. My goal is to kind of just curve this curve this down to make it look, you know, I'm following this, this curve here. There's really not much to, I'm going a little too fast. So I'm gonna calm it down. It's still kind of sticky, so. Another tip for beginners or reminder is to wait for each revolution. And a revolution is a turn. Like for a while, or when I'm really impatient, I won't wait for a full revolution and things get uneven. So just be patient with that. Like move the tool down after each pass, each revolution. I'm just gonna take a little off of here to get the print from the bat off of it. And then just a little turn, turn of the tool to get that soft round edge 
that'll really match this the shape of this mug. Okay, that's pretty much it for the trimming. Uh, then I use this metal rib tool, which, uh, be careful, because this thing is, like, freaking dangerous. I've cut my finger on it so many times and, like, drawn, I mean, it draws blood. You know, it's like a weapon. Um, so just be careful using this thing. So, basically... I'm just going to, it's called burnish. I'm just going to burnish the sides where I trimmed to give it, to compress the clay and to give, to give it a nice finish, shiny finish, especially when you're using clay with a lot of grog in it or a lot of sand, it, burnishing it really makes a, makes a difference, especially when fired and you're leaving some of the clay raw. It, it has a shinier, like more soft and smooth finish at, at the end. So that's, and I'm just doing it with this. Some people do it with stones. I do have a stone or, but anyway, there's some, there's some lines. I'm okay with that. I kind of like it because it's rustic, gives it a rustic feel. All right, I think we're good. And that's it. That's my easy trick on centering quickly and burnishing quickly. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.